How are you doing, Kelly Crowd? Today, we're talking goals and how to stick to them. Now, this channel is mainly about calisthenics and fitness, so that is the lens we're going to be looking through today. But just know that what we go through today can be applied to achieving goals in every single aspect of your life. I'm gonna walk you through a three-step process that I use personally to make hitting the goals that I set myself extremely simple. Plus, if you stick around to the end, I will give you a bonus tip that will super charge your ability to stick to whatever you set your mind to. Let's jump straight into it. As I mentioned, this three-step system is extremely simple to follow. And each step can be summed up by three individual words, vision, execution, and automation. And each of those three words has a corresponding mental exercise. What do I mean by this? Well, take vision, for example. When it comes to goals, the vision is the why. Why are you chasing this goal and is the juice worth the squeeze? But it's also about scope. The scope of our goals should be narrow enough to stop you from getting distracted as too many goals will dilute your focus and decrease your likelihood of achieving them. So if you're visualizing learning to handstand, for example, your vision should outline how you're entering the handstand, what is your target hold time, is balancing a handstand enough, or do you also want that handstand to be straight? Thinking about all of this goes beyond chasing fire emojis on Instagram. Really visualize how this goal makes you feel. Does it make you happier? If the answer is yes, then know that you can actually become happier right now. You don't have to wait until then because the mental exercise attached to the visualization aspect of the system is practicing gratitude. Using the example of the handstand again, if your goal is to hold a 10 second handstand, you're not gonna be miserable up until nine second holds, and then one day you hit a 10 second holds and all of a sudden you're popping fireworks. Each step in the right direction is taking you closer to your goal, and so we should be grateful about that. Be grateful when you get your first chest to wall handstand. Be grateful when you leave the wall for the first time. Be grateful when you learn from a failed handstand attempt. Snowballing that happiness and being appreciative of where you are now will make you more likely to achieve your goal. The second part of the system is execution. And no guys, I don't mean chopping off heads. What I mean is you have your goal, right? Whether it's to build muscle or lose weight, whatever it is. Decide how you want to do this. So when do you want to train? Do you want to train in a gym or do you want to train at home? What exercises will you do? Govern yourself so that you know what will get you closer to your goals and what won't, but also give yourself enough freedom so that you can vary how you get there on a day-to-day -day basis. As part of this step, it's also important that you time box this element of your goal. What do you want to achieve and by when? I personally like 90 days because it's long enough to feel like you can make a difference, but short enough so that you don't lose the urgency of your goal. The exercise for maximizing execution is to set yourself one extremely simple thing that you can do every day. The simpler, the better. The idea behind this is that when we slip up on our goals, and there will be a time when we do, it should be extremely easy for us to get back on the wagon and attacking our goals relentlessly again. We want to feel like we're getting closer to that outlined vision and by picking that one simple thing that we can do every single day without fail, we'll actually have one more thing to be grateful for. So taking a real example for me, I set myself the goal of being able to learn how to handstand. And what I told myself was that every morning without fail, I would just warm up my wrists. That's it, just warm up my wrists. It sounds dumb, but I know that when I have warm wrists, I am so much more likely to kick up into a handstand against the wall while I'm just walking around the house, which will drastically increase the amount of times I practice the handstand. And finally, we have automation. Human beings are just naturally habitual, and what are habits but automated behaviors. We wake up, we brush our teeth, we have our shower, we see our shoe is untied, we tie it. Do we think about these things? No, this is automated behavior, which is why it is so easy to do day in, day out. And the mental exercise for this is extremely simple because all we're going to do is reduce the amount of brain power we need to do the previous activities by preparing in advance. So you wanna to go to the gym tomorrow? Put your gym clothes already in your bag. You know you're gonna have a mental week at work? Prepare all your meals in a freezer. Set yourself up to win and win regularly 
and you'll start chasing this feeling. And the bonus tip I have for you is that when you want to set these goals and you're starting to embed these really good habits that you want, layer them on habits that you actually already do. Let me explain. I wanted to drink more water in 2020. I told myself that before I brush my teeth, the teeth brushing being the habit that I always do naturally, I told myself that I was going to drink a glass of water before brushing my teeth. This is a habit I already have and a habit that I wanted. Every day without fail, I take the glass that I'd filled the night before from my bedside table, down it, and then brush my teeth. It became so easy to tether the two habits together that before you knew it, I was drinking three liters of water a day extremely easily. But guys, that's it. This is how I set goals. Not just a calisthenics focus one today. Apply this to every aspect of your life and let me know how this works for you. Let me know what your goals are. Let me know how you're gonna be setting them. Let me know in the comments section below. I would love to read them. And guys, I'll see you in the next one.